We just arrived at the Inga Kobo ICP camp where we're in the middle of just starting our mobile clinic. We come here and uh, we see about 80 to 100 consultations per day and because of the long journey ride uh, we don't have a lot of time to uh, to spend here. We have to really do a good triage and prioritize and our priority is always a pregnant woman, uh, malnutrition cases and uh, children under five. You are a European, you are a Yapit Gitoso. There is something you quack your stuff. Boy Bangang in Yetin, even I run a man Yapi. Nina see Matin Supita sitting in Gang, but sitting out saying Gaisa. What I'm going to be sitting in the Yapi Sambungo, Sambumba, Sangu. I choose in that she learns he presumes that I want to see. Je m'appelle Fondima Gislain, je suis le responsable de relais communautaire de l'organisme humanitaire Médecins Sans Frontières. J'ai habité le site de la Cotonnerie depuis trois mois. Pour vraiment l'insécurité, ce n'est pas vraiment à éviter. Et c'est pourquoi je suis obligé de, de trouver refuge dans un camp militaire pour me protéger. Vraiment, j'ai réfléchi pendant longtemps pour dire que s'il y a une situation qui se présente, il y a toujours une solution. La mort, c'est une réalité. Ce n'est pas seulement par le coup des armes qu'on peut mourir. Donc, même il y a les maladies, les poils qu'on se Mais la situation à, à la cotonnerie, c'est difficile pour moi en tant que personnel soigné. So working here, uh, of course, we have tons of day-to-day -day challenges. Um, one of the main ones is when we don't have access. Uh, we have to constantly refigure where we're going, uh, which mobile clinic sites we're going, which means constantly replanning uh, activities. Uh, Follow-up of patients is very difficult, especially malnutrition and antenatal care patients. Trying to move forward with our projects uh, and treat our population is, is very difficult in that sense. It's been very difficult to keep track of where the people are going and um, to keep track of the numbers. Uh, they, they face lots of difficulties in terms of hygiene, uh, water, access to water, um, and lots of health needs. Uh, they're sleeping uh, without mosquito nets, uh, lots of diarrhea related to hygiene problems. Just in general, access to healthcare has been very, very lacking. <laughs> 